So good day everyone, this is Sultan and in this video I'm going to demo a simple application which I built for Dev.2 Hackathon hosted by Redis. So what I have built is a full stack real time application in which people can create and share poll and the results of the poll will be updated in real time. First uh, I will demonstrate how the application works then we will walk through the code base and we will see how certain Redis functions are implemented. So let me just walk you through the application. Uh, we have two options. One is create poll and uh, uh, you know search for a poll with the poll ID. So when we go to create poll, we can create any questions and you know add answers. Uh, I mean options for the questions. So uh, for example, say what your red food. Okay. Say biryani and aroma and pizza and burger. Okay, so this is just a simple React application. So uh, I think these this is enough for a demo demonstration. Uh, let me save the video. Sorry, the poll. And once this poll is saved, you know we will get a Redis. Uh, it, the data gets stored in Redis, and we will get a poll ID with the link. So if you go to that link, you will be able to answer the answer the poll. Say for example, I'm giving biryani and you know I will get a chart. And if another user is going to answer at the same time for the same poll, uh, we will be able to see the updated answer in real time. So this user doesn't see the chart because he hasn't answered yet. So in my incognito mode, I'm going to answer for shawarma for example. Uh, you could see in my previous browser tab, I, I was able to get the updated value. And if I open another incognito window, and I'm gonna answer, for example, third user is gonna answer it. For example, burger, you know, it gets updated real time. So this is the whole application, and let us just walk through the code based on how things are implemented. Uh, so for in this. Uh, application requires three code base as you can see I have three VS code uh, open uh, one is for front-end and one is for the main API service and one is for socket uh, service so the front-end talking about the front-end is just a react application and you know it uses socket IO client uh, it's just a simple one using uh, material UI so what we are more concerned is the back-end in which we are using react I'm uh, sorry I mean Redis <clears throat> so uh this is socket sorry sorry this is backend so in order to you know uh, get this thing working on your local you need to uh clone all the three repositories uh i will share the link of the github in the video description so the backend service uh just requires a emv file so this is the only file which won't be there in the uh, the repository so right now I are connected to my local redis which is running in a docker uh, if you want you know if you have a redis uh, cloud running you could just have that thing as redis connection string in that environment variable file that's it so first things first so this is just a server file which just starts the node of node.js app and app.js file has the express default things like <clears throat> 404 fallback and you know 500 error handler and what we are concerned with is this the this the redis uh, function so this is a client uh, this is the main redis client in which we are initiating the redis connection and we are exporting this redis uh, variable uh, which is the connection sorry the, the redis client uh, which should be i guess exported to app yeah so here you can see when we are starting the express application we are uh, connecting to redis in a immediately invoked function expression okay and th this is the basic part of connecting your redis to a node.js application okay i mean sorry you're connecting node.js application to your redis and the next part is the, the question will be how things are saved uh, i mean when you create a new poll right uh, when you go to this page and when you create a new poll and how things are saved so for that uh, i have a model uh which uh in which i use redis om 
so this is basically like a sequelized model or uh, say for example if you have used mongodb mongoose model so uh, this is this is a, this is a very simple uh, data in which you are, i'm just storing the name of the pool and options and you know this is an optional thing which i included which i'm not using as of now so as you can see the name is a string and option is a string of uh, array of string that's it okay so since we are using redis yam and uh, you know in the in the service uh, we will be using the same uh, in order to save the data so here you can see all these are boilerplate code which is required by redis yam uh, we have to first create a repository and then using that repository uh, get pull repository which is the poem repository and we are creating a new entity uh, so with this create new entity we will generate an entity id uh, by default uh, redis one gives us that and <clears throat> once we hit the save function things are saved in redis uh, let me show you using redis inside so here you can see there is om has saved our data uh, as a json so this is the entity id and it is named spaced with pool okay and our pool create handler right uh it creates two things actually that's why you also see a hash uh data over here so basically what happens is how i have structured this application is uh when a create pool request is made right in the in the controller uh i first create a new pool uh using redis om and using that pool id i'm creating another hash in order to store the actual uh vote count uh which means this hash just has the all the options with the values as zero so since we have ordered it uh you can see the values here and this uses the same entity id but it is name namespace with pool box uh this uh, name which i i'm really bad at naming variables so bear with me okay so this hash is the one which gets updated uh on each uh what what what's getting casted okay so that's why we see two uh data structures in redis as of now so what happens when we are voting for a question say for example uh when we hit the radio button in order to vote sorry i mean let me go to incognito window and when we hit this radio button what happens so that is the place where the real time uh, part of the application comes in okay so uh, that function should be somewhere over here uh, let me search in routes okay so when the radio button is hit right uh, we hit this url in order to update the poll box and this controller should call two things right yeah so add poll id to queue and publish okay uh, yeah so poll box update uh, is being called uh, what this actually does is um it gets the id which is being sent in the object so let me show you that network stack okay and if i'm for pizza uh it should be in fetch yeah. yeah so here we get the poll id right and uh, the payload should have the option as pizza so pizza is the one which we uh, selected so we get this data and you know we increment the hash with one okay so h increment by is a function which is provided by redis by itself uh, which we can use in order to update the hash so if you see if i refresh uh, this pizza should be updated by one okay so once the hash is incremented so this is one step, step one uh, we are incrementing the hash uh, which is actually which is the data which actually stores the number of votes the next part is uh, we are updating uh, the queue with the pool id which got updated so the queue uh, here is just a redis list and here what, how i mean in order to convert a list to a queue right what you do is you so so what we do uh, in order to convert a list to a queue is we in, in a list we just use l push and or pop uh, which some which looks something like this uh oh let me just show you the code uh, instead of typing out the comments 
okay so l push pushes the uh, pole id to uh, the redis the redis list which is named as q poles and uh, you know it just updates the pole id to the list and the socket service which we have uh, it will uh, pop out that um, pole id in order to get the updates so we do two things over here one is uh, updating the updated pole id to the queue and we publish an update message so this is just a simple update message uh, which uh, redis dot publish it just update you know publishes this update message uh, in the pub sub okay so that's about uh, this service uh, which is the main api service now we jump to the socket service so in socket service uh, when when the server so i'm in the server.ts file so when the server gets started i'm starting a socket uh, server which is uh, using socket io and i'm subscribing to the same channel so you can see here uh, the same channel in the other api i'm using the same channel name uh, the channel pool and i'm subscribing to the channel so whenever a new update message is received from this channel uh, what i do is i or pop the uh you uh, to get the updated poll id and what i do is get the poll data from this hash so which is this hash and uh, you know i'm just sending the updated poll data poll box data to be uh to be precise so i'm getting the poll box data and i'm just sending it to the front end so if you see in ws connection so yeah i just need to reload the page uh where is my incognito yeah here it is so So in my socket server, what I do is whenever I choose an option, you could see in the messages, I will receive the updated pool data. So this will have the entire hash uh, as you can see. So biryani and burger and all the options. So basically this hash data is being sent whenever a new poll is getting updated. Yeah, so that's pretty much it about the whole application. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.